What is up, Nation Noah here back again, and today we're gonna to be starting a brand new WWE 2K22 My GM right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. So we're not gonna waste any time. Let's get right in to the draft. Now, as we're getting set up here, you guys might remember if you're familiar with the channel. Uh, a couple months ago, I did start a NXT My GM, but uh, we're just completely scrapping that. We're starting completely fresh today. Brand new draft, and I think we're going to go with SmackDown. But first, we have to choose our general manager. So we got Adam Pierce, Sonya Deville, William Regal, Shane McMahon, and Stephanie McMahon. So they all have their, and we have a custom superstar as well, but I'm not going to be using uh, anything custom. Maybe in the future, in like another my gm i'll make myself and we'll do a my gm with that i don't know maybe in the future but today we're just gonna be sticking with one of these guys and uh i think when you know i've gone through these uh you know special uh, abilities and stuff before william regal was my favorite uh of the abilities but uh i don't know i gotta review them real quick and then i'll pick one yeah so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick william regal on this as you can see he has the legend whisper uh power card which is the first legend you assign this week will be free and i do expect that we're gonna be signing a lot of legends on this uh my gm because i don't know i kind of want to have a not fully legends roster but i am down to have more legends than uh than not plus i want to have my roster be different than my like universe mode roster that i use here on the channel all the time so obviously there's going to be similar superstars but the more different the better at least for me all right so like i said we're going to be being free Friday night smackdown here um so it also comes with the birth of legends so six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by six you'll have to say all right so of course the ai or excuse me the opponent is going to be the ai gm uh opponent we have uh you know all of our options here i was william regal i think we'll go ahead let's do uh let's do steph you know she's been in the news lately so we'll do stephanie mcmahon uh she'll be monday night raw uh, we'll just do normal difficulty, and we'll do we'll do a 25 weeks. 25 weeks is a nice in between. Uh, you know, 15 is kind of short. 50 is a little long. I think 25 is uh, is pretty good. So we'll go 25 there, and then I don't know what we're gonna do with the draft pull and stuff, but I'll take a look. I'll probably just keep it default, but we'll go ahead and find out. All right. So so far, I turned Triple H on because he was inactive. I turned Maurice on because she was inactive, and I'm just kind of going through here. Pretty much everything's good to go. I'm not gonna have a million versions of the Undertaker in here, so I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, I'll just keep obviously the good Shawn Michaels in here, not the uh, comeback that nobody wanted Shawn Michaels in here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Pretty much everything looks good. Uh, like I said, I probably wasn't going to mess with it too much. I just figured I'd take a breeze over. I'm going to use the normal Alexa Bliss instead of the, uh, the uh, not, not going to put her on Legend, but we'll put her on Inactive, the um, you know Fiend Alexa Bliss there. I'd prefer that version better um uh i don't know you guys will see as we do the draft here i'm not gonna bore you with this but we're just turning some guys inactive whatnot and uh or i should say active and uh just making it the roster overall uh how i want it to be i'm turning slapjack off because i'm sick of playing the computer and my gm and they always just have slapjack as their freaking favorite wrestler on the roster so i'm turning them off i don't even want to see him in this my gm all right so i think we're all good to go so let's go ahead and start this draft all right, so everybody knows the draft rules, but in case you don't, I'll go ahead and read them off real quick. Each GM will start with a budget. GMs will take turns drafting one uh, superstar after another. There will be eight rounds of drafting after the eight, eighth round. Excuse me, drafting becomes optional. Yada yada yada. Uh, recommendations. Y you guys know the drill. Let's just go ahead and let's start picking. Let's see if we got. I believe we get the first pick every time, correct? So yeah, there's that. But anyway. Let's go ahead and get into this draft. So, of course, we are Friday Night SmackDown. We want a stacked roster, man. I want a big-time roster. So, I got my eye on a few people. Obviously, you know, not everybody's available at the start because uh, that's just how, you know, the, the game is with the draft. So, there's going to be some people who we can't get right away. Uh, already, I don't see Rey Mysterio anywhere. So, we're going to have to hopefully pick him up um, in free agency whenever he shows up. So, uh, that was definitely something I wanted on my roster. But as for everybody who's here, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to pick up the face that runs the place, the franchise, John Cena as my number one pick because you know i love john cena so we're gonna go ahead and uh get john raw gets becky lynch as their first pick so i don't know who i'm gonna go with first should i go ahead and get a uh you know our top woman here or should i go ahead and get one of cena's top rivals i think i'm gonna go ahead and get one of cena's top rivals first and uh who should we pair against cena man or an obviously a good mashup it's a legendary rivalry there um and i'm, I'm down for i think i'm down for randy orton man uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I want to have somewhat a different, you know, roster uh, than the, you know, the, all the guys that I use in my universe mode. But at the same time, I want to have, you know, a legend kind of roster just because, you know, I'm into the legends and stuff. But I think I passed by Randy Orton. But let's go ahead. We're going to get the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, as our second uh, pick here. And Raw's going to go ahead and pick up the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick up our first woman here. So I don't know. Who do we want topping? our uh, women's division at the current moment obviously again not everybody available right now uh so let's just go ahead with what we're uh, working with in here and uh wouldn't mind having like a different women's division at the same time you, know, you need some top names in here uh i think i'm gonna go ahead 
And, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna pick up Alexa Bliss. Why not? I'm gonna just, you know, I don't want, you know, any of the four horsewomen, honestly. Uh, I want to stay away from them just because, I don't know, everybody always uses the four horsewomen. So I'll go ahead, go ahead, excuse me, and pick up Alexa Bliss. And, uh, her, she's a baby face. So let's go ahead and pick up somebody who is a heel. Uh, Shayna Baszler's a heel. Carmella's a heel. Bailey's a heel. We have, uh, Candice LeRae. Uh, she might be, uh, our top, uh, heel here. We have Mandy Rose. Could be, a, could be an option as well. Not the greatest, but it's an option. Raquel Gonzalez is another option. Uh, we got Natalia, Shotzi, Indy Hartwell. Uh, I'm going to go up. I'll, I'll pick up Raquel Gonzalez, or Rodriguez as she's called now. So we'll pick up her as our fourth overall pick. Raw picks up the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. So let's go ahead and uh, back over to the men here. And of course, you know, I'm going to be leaving some space. You know, we're not going to be drafting, you know... 16 freaking people here uh or something like that we're gonna be leaving some spots on our roster for some free agent signings some legends and stuff like that but i definitely want a good roster uh to you know kick us off here since you, you know obviously the free agency and the legends kind of uh you know rearranges itself every uh week and so so uh we got john cena and randy orton so far so who are we gonna go ahead guarantee you guarantee you uh raw the cpu will pick up ivar uh will most likely pick up eric as well because the cpu loves those guys uh, but who else do we got, man? Uh, let's go ahead. I want to pick up somebody different for my third pick. So I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's head back down here. And uh, I might surprise some people, but I'm going to go ahead. I know it's a, I know it's a random one, but I'm a big fan, uh, or was a big fan, I guess you could say, of MSK. I've been following them since basically the beginning of their careers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Wesley. Wish I could pick up Nash Carter, but is what it is. We're going to go ahead and pick up Wesley. So Raw goes ahead and kind of counteracts me uh, as they got uh, Roger Strong. They also got R-Truth a couple of rounds ago, which interesting pick this early. But uh, so we got Wesley on our roster. Let's go ahead. You know what? I think we're going to pick up Wesley versus Johnny Gargano. Sounds like a uh, pretty good time to me. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Johnny Gargano for our SmackDown roster. Getting some different guys, as we mentioned. Raw goes ahead and picks up Bailey. I think I'm going to follow in their direction and pick up another woman as well for my division. And uh, let's see who's going to mesh well with Alexa Bliss and Raquel Gonzalez. I think Naomi uh, would be a, a good addition to our roster. We're going to go ahead and pick up Naomi for Friday Night SmackDown. I believe this is round seven right now. So we're about to make our eighth pick for SmackDown. So I should probably go ahead and get a fourth woman as well. Kind of even it out at the current moment. So we have two baby faces uh, in the women's division. So I think I'll go ahead and pick up a uh, two or our second, excuse me. Uh, heal for the division and uh, based off who we got here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up uh, You know, I'm gonna get somebody different uh, again here, and I'm gonna pick up Indy Hartwell for the Smackdown roster uh, I think it's a good addition there. I think uh, she's very uh, Interesting good talent on the way up. So uh, we have those eight women now or excuse me eight uh, people on our roster four and four uh, I'll probably get maybe like two three more people here uh, we do obviously have a lot of names here, but again, I'm, I want to, you know, see who's going to be, you know, in the field of, you know, legends and free agencies and stuff. So I'm going to be holding out a little bit for those guys, but uh, let's go ahead and let's go back up to the top. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, Cesaro or Nakamura. I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go Shinsuke Nakamura here as our ninth pick uh, in the draft. I think we got a solid roster so far, man. I'd say, I mean, in my eyes, I think we have a better uh, overall roster the Monday Night Raw is Raw oh, that's another guy the CPU always loves to get Trent Seven I'm not hating but I'm just like why does the CPU always go to these certain guys man it's like the Viking Raiders Trent Seven Tyler Bate Slapjack like the CPU it's just the I the the AI is just freaking obsessed with those guys but all right let's get one uh, let's do one more pick uh, this will be our tenth pick for our roster right now and then we'll go ahead we'll save some money hit the legends in the free agency so we picked up uh, Nakamura in the last round. I could pick up Cesaro, but I want to just give this one last look. I didn't. I don't know if I put Dominic Dijakovic in here, but I should have over T-Bar uh, is what it is. Because uh, I would have been interested in picking him up. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up... Now, you know, I think I'll go ahead and pick up Cesaro. I think I'll go ahead, since I was debating that a minute ago, I'll go ahead and pick up the Swiss Superman Cesaro. So, Raw gets Dana Brooke. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end the draft here for at least Friday Night SmackDown. Uh, so there you go. There's our look at our roster. Pretty good looking roster, man. So we got William Regal heading things. Uh, and then you got our top eight. John Cena, Randy Orton. Uh, you have Wes Lee, Alexa Bliss, Johnny Gargano, Naomi, Raquel Gonzalez, Indy Hartwell. Uh, very interesting talents on here. It's a nice mix of talent on the roster. We're going to add some legends, uh, some people from free agency. So let's go ahead and check those things out and see what we're working with. 
Well, of course, real quick, we got to take a look at Raw's roster, and this is their top eight along with Stephanie McMahon. And I got to say, Stephanie, you got outdrafted because your roster looks like we picked names out of a hat, and my roster was strategic. So I'm just saying, I think I won the draft, but hey, let me know down below in the comments. All right, so here we are on SmackDown, and first things first, I got to crown some champions here. So I, I could have swore, wasn't, didn't they add tag team titles to this? Am I wrong? I, I could have swore. I haven't played my GM in like in like two months so i could have swore more titles got added to this i don't know i'll just go with the flow here whatever uh who's gonna be our universal champion so i think first things first i mean we gotta go we gotta go john cena right he's been the man of the month you know all over social media making his comeback this week john cena we gotta go cena as our universal champion and our woman's champion i think we'll go our most popular woman which uh is alexa bliss we're gonna go alexa bliss as our first women's champion as well. Uh, so that was one of the things I know they did. It was extend the match card. So that is good. But I could have swore. Am I wrong? Am I, is that, does that come later? Whatever. Uh, maybe I need more talent. That might be the case. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's check out the free agents first things first. So there he is right there. The master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. We're going to go ahead and sign Rey to a contract. No questions asked. You already know he was going to be a part of my roster. Uh, as for free agents here, um, you got a bunch of your local talent, and then obviously you got Seth Rollins in here, but I'm going to hold out on that. Let's go ahead and check out the Legends, which uh, is probably going to be a good-looking cast of characters here. So not uh, all the great Legends uh, that I'd be looking for at the current moment. Nobody, you know, I was, I was maybe hoping for Batista or something to be in here, uh, or Eddie Guerrero or something like that. But, you know, we got to hold out a little bit. Uh, so, you know, there's that. And uh, obviously there's going to be more people in the free agency, so I think I'm going to go ahead. I won't, you know, purchase any Legends right now. Free agents, you know, nobody's really uh, pulling me in. So here's our roster, man. Obviously, small roster to start us out, but we're just getting started. So let's go ahead and uh, well, we, we got to go to our journal over here, see what the objective is for this week, uh, which is schedule a run-in on one of your champions. No problem. So let's go ahead and book the first Friday Night SmackDown. All right, main event here. So let's go ahead. We'll just go one-on-one -on -one matchup. John Cena uh, going one-on-one -on -one, uh, with, uh, we'll go, let's go Randy Orton here. And I believe we have to book a... It said uh, an interference on one of our champions, so we'll go ahead and put the title on the line because, you know, boost the ratings. And uh, run-in. So who's going to make a run-in on John Cena? So I guess we'll go one of these guys and we will go... Let's go Cesaro running in on John Cena. Maybe we'll start a little rivalry there. So let's uh, go ahead and confirm the way. Using a run-in will limit your match options. So let's oh, well, yeah, we're simulating anyway. No problem. Uh, so I, again, I haven't played this in like two months, so I forget. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up to the opener. So let's do a little women's tag team matchup here. We'll go Alexa Bliss and uh, Naomi taking on Raquel Gonzalez and Indy Hartwell. Get our women in a match there. It should be good. Uh, let's go one-on-one -on -one here. Obviously, we you know have a small roster at the moment, so it's not going to be the most exciting card this week. Uh, but we'll go Rey Mysterio versus... I uh, guess we'll go Nakamura here. They're both baby faces, but... Again, what can you do this week? Uh, and then we'll go Johnny Gargano versus Wesley. And we got not a lot. I wish they added some more stipulations because, you know, just having Hell in the Cell and TLC and Extreme Rules and stuff, tables, uh, not a lot of stipulations there. But, hey, I guess that's what 2K23 is, you know, going to be for some of that stuff. But uh, I think we'll just leave it at that. Not going to be, again, the most exciting show this week, and everybody's already booked, so I am can't do any promos. But it is what it is. It's going to be a real basic week to start us out, all your basic stuff. Uh, what can you do? We're in OKC. Let's go ahead and let's simulate our first SmackDown. All right, let's go ahead and confirm this show. So we will confirm our booking here. And uh, I believe, obviously, we'll get to check out Monday Night Raw's first show as well, which there's no way I can let them have a better first week than me, even though they probably will. So let's go ahead and let's simulate this tag team matchup here. Alexa Bliss and Naomi versus Gonzalez and Indy Hartwell. And we see Alexa Bliss and Naomi picking up the win. A mediocre tag team matchup. But listen, it's week one. Got to build up some popularity, build up some rivalries. What can you do? This is babyface versus babyface with this Ray versus Nakamura match. So I know that's already going to take a knock for it. Uh, Nakamura gets the win over Ray in a disappointing matchup. Oh, God. We start off rough here. Uh, we got Johnny Gargano versus Wesley. And it's going to be Wesley picking up the big win over Johnny Gargano in a two-and-a-half star okay matchup. So, you love to see it. And then main event time, John Cena and Randy Orton. Cesaro is running in Universal Championship is on the line who's going to leave as the champion randy orton is your new universal champion and a three-star good match uh thanks to the help of cesaro so i will take it and uh, let's see what monday night raw has got going on probably a bunch of garbage uh lesnar and r-truth in a tables match 
Uh, we got Eric and Timothy Thatcher versus Akira Tozawa and Sheamus for the tag team title. Well, yeah, yeah, so I guess I just need more talent, that's why. Uh, and I'll be able to do tag matches. Someone's probably like, yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and simulate their whole show because I don't give it two dams. And uh, Raw probably had the better show. Well, it looks like we had an even show. Raw beat me in the opener and the first mid-card match. And then I beat them in the second mid-card match and the main event. So I will take that. And, uh, you know, there's Raw's, shows, there's Raw's results there. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hit OK. And, uh, you know, see all this stuff. We have plus 76,000 in the fans. Uh, we made some profit this week, which you love to see. There's all your tweets on the side there. So now I'm interested. I want to go see uh, ranking week run also after this week. So we win week one, which you love to see over Monday Night Raw. Screw Monday Night Raw. Uh, yeah, yeah, you love to see it. And our champions are cooler too, so get out of here. But anyway, now I want to go check out the free agency and legends, which I think the email comes up first. Uh, or three weeks away till WrestleMania Backlash. Uh, so here we go. We got making sure. Yeah, Triple H already yelling at me for doing babyface versus babyface. I know, Hunter. All right. I just, I had limited options. All right. Gotcha. All right. He's going to yell at me a little bit more. Remember the Giants. Pay well with the Cruiserweight. Okay. okay. Uh, Johnny Gargano. Lead cheated me in the last matchup. I want to rematch in the next two weeks. I'll see to it, Johnny Gargano. You absolutely can have another match with Wesley. John Cena. That loser Cesaro attacked me during the last fight. I'm not going to stand for this garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him in the next three weeks. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Of course, John. Of course. We set up you and Cesaro. We're going to be running with it. John Cena versus Cesaro. So now I want to go ahead. New logistics unlocked. And uh, check out free agency. So Roman Reigns, the big dog, is in free agency. So we got to... I said the big dog. Nobody calls it the big dog anymore. The head of the table, the tribal chief, is in uh, the free agency right now. So we keep our eye on that. But legends. Oh, we got some legends in here. All right, we got Big Dave. We got the Hurricane Boogeyman. All right, now we're talking. All right, first things first. I know you guys are like, you're getting hyped about Boogeyman. You got Hulk Hogan and Razor Ramon sitting right there. But now I want the Boogeyman, all right? So we're going to go ahead and pick up Batista. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up the Hurricane I'm just gonna, wasting all my money here on these legends, but it's fine. We're going to go ahead and pick up the Boogeyman as well. And then should... I'm kind of tempted to pick up Booker T. But let me see. What's my roster looking like now? Uh, we got 14 people here. Should probably get another woman as well uh, at the current moment. But I don't know who I want to pick up yet. So I won't get Booker T just yet. Uh, let's look at the women's division, though. I don't want to get any of the four horse women. And Lacey Evans is the only other option. So I think I'll hold out uh, on them... Not really feeling uh, Mickey James or Beth Phoenix or Trish Stratus right now. I don't know really even who I want to add to the women's division. But I'm going to hold out. All right, so let's go ahead now. Uh, now that we have uh, a couple more talents on our show. And let's go ahead and book the uh, next week. Uh, so wait a minute here. We got uh, we got give, give Gargano, excuse me, his rematch with Wesley. Cena versus Cesaro. And then we just signed a couple of talents. So uh, I don't think I even need to rest your current champions this week. So Cena and Alexa Bliss can't work. All right. Making me uh, get around some stuff here. All right, so we got to... Or, well, Orin can't work, excuse me. So we can actually do Cena versus Zaro in the main event. So we will do that. And so it will be Orton and Bliss. That can't work this week. Uh, let's go tag team matchup here. And we will go Johnny Gargano teaming up with... We need to turn somebody heel. That's what we need to do. Hmm. All right, so promo. Who should we turn heel? Boogeyman's actually... Boogeyman's a heel, actually. All right, you know what? I'm jumping all over the place here. Tag team matchup. We're going to go Johnny Gargano and the Boogeyman versus Wesley and the Hurricane. Because that is what the people want to see on Friday Night SmackDown. Go ahead and book it. Uh, Bliss can't wrestle this week, so we're going to go Naomi versus... We'll go Raquel Gonzalez one-on-one. -on -one. And you know what? We'll do a little run-in by Indy Hartwell as well. So we'll do that. All right, and then we got our opener to work with here. So we got Batista... Orton, uh, Ray, so obviously we still, need, we still need to turn somebody heel. So we'll probably turn maybe, probably, honestly, I'll probably just turn Nakamura here, or heel, excuse me. <laughs> but we'll do Batista, and, uh, and we'll go one-on-one -on -one with Ray. Uh, we're going to do promo. Nakamura is going to, oh, yeah, roll change Nakamura. And uh, yeah, that's it, because I don't have a, then that would just be Orton and Alexa Bliss, and they can't work this week. All right, show looks good. Uh, as for this stuff, man, I think we'll just go, we'll do the concert hall this week, and, uh, we'll go up to special effects. I really don't know how much some of this stuff even, like, boosts you. I know it does, but, like, I don't know. I feel like some of it's a little pointless, but it's fine. 
Uh, but anyway, that's going to be our show this week, so let's go ahead and confirm, and let's hopefully beat Raw for the second week in a row. Alright, so we're kicking things off with the Animal Dave Batista versus Rey Mysterio, so we're going to go ahead. Obviously, this is Babyface versus Babyface again, is what it is, but we're building up the roster here week by week. So Batista picks up the win in a quote-unquote disappointing match. Uh, we have Nakamura is going to be turning heel here. Uh, so, you know, gets the job done. We have Naomi and Raquel Gonzalez. Indy Hartwell doing a little run in on Naomi. And Raquel Gonzalez picks up the victory uh, in that matchup. We're going to go, go ahead, excuse me, and have a little tag team matchup. Johnny Gargano and the Boogeyman versus the Hurricane and Wesley. What a tag team matchup here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Honestly, we should have played this, but this is going to be majority simulating uh, for the most part. Maybe we'll play a match every now and then. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me play a match every now and then, but the majority of this series is probably going to be simulation, but Boogeyman and Johnny Gargano pick up the win, and then main event time, John Cena versus Cesaro one-on-one after a follow-up from last week, and John Cena picks up the win over the Swiss Superman. Raw show looks uh, as abysmal as it does in real life, so we're not even going to go ahead and do any of this here. We're going to go and simulate the rest of the show because we don't care about Monday Night Raw. And uh, evidently, my show was... I, oh, okay. Okay. I didn't I, I didn't mean to continue, but they, they beat me in all the ratings, so there's that. Uh, but we got more fans this week, and the, the budget went up, so that's good. Uh, so I'll take that. And uh, I don't know. People are, are buzzing over here about SmackDown, so I think I'm doing something right. Uh, Mysterio versus Batista, I don't know who, who who to root for. Strange match. We're working on it. All right, and we are ranking two. And we did have another, uh, got another card this week, so we're going to have to utilize them uh, in the next week. So there's Raw's logistics and whatnot. And uh, Raw's on, on top this week uh, just by a little bit. So we'll bounce back next show and uh, beat Monday Night Raw. Naomi in the DM says that loser Hartwell attacked me during the last fight. I'm not going to stand for the garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with her in the next three weeks. Didn't John Cena say that same thing last week? I think he did. Regardless, Naomi, you got it. <laughs> no can do. I'm afraid. What does that even mean? Uh, okay, so we will do Naomi and Indy Hartwell in the next few weeks to uh, increase that. But before we get out of here and end, up, and end this video, if I could talk, uh, even though we got new logistics unlocked, we're going to go ahead and check out the free agency and legends one more time here uh, for this video. So we got Charlotte in here now. We have Natalia, uh, part of the free agents as well. Uh, we got a couple of superstars in here, some good stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the legends right now. And uh, oh, we got Eddie Guerrero up there, so we might have to bring in Eddie Guerrero for the roster. Do we bring in Eddie Guerrero for the roster? <sighs> I think I think we gotta sign Eddie Guerrero, man. I know he's I know we're starting to get a little pricey with the budget here, but like if anybody's gonna get cut, it's gonna be some of the current day people to make room for the legends. So we'll work it out. Eddie Guerrero, you're coming home, my man. Welcome back to Friday Night SmackDown. Alright, dude, we gotta take a look at this roster, man. Look at this roster real quick. Look at this roster. We got Eddie Guerrero, Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, Johnny Gargano, Rey Mysterio, Alexa Bliss, Cesaro, The Hurricane, The Boogeyman, Shinsuke Nakamura, Naomi, Wesley, Raquel Gonzalez, and Indy Hartwell. Dude, this is ratings all day. I'm also an idiot because I forgot that I had this Legends Whisperer card, so I could have just signed one of those Legends for free, but oh well. Better luck next time. Anyway, so we also have the Birth of the Legends card. We're going to give the popularity of six, uh, or plus six, I should say, to uh, six random superstars on my roster. We're going to go ahead and use that real quick. And uh, let's see. Wesley gets a plus. We have Cesaro getting a plus. We have Randy Orton getting a plus. We have John Cena getting a plus. And we have the Boogeyman getting a plus. And we have, who's that? The Hurricane getting a plus, I think. Hurricane, Boogeyman, Cena, Orton, Cesaro, Wesley, all getting plus six to their popularity. We'll dip into some more of this stuff in the uh, next episode when we're doing some more roster changes and booking some more shows. But I think so far, so good. So if you're going ahead and enjoying this MyGM so far, be sure to leave me a like down below and hit the subscribe button right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. I don't know how often these MyGM episodes are going to be coming out, but they're going to be coming out pretty frequently. So again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more WWE 2K22 MyGM. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.